Oh no. Look at all those bins. How am I supposed to know what goes where? There's no markings. I know. I'll phone and ask my mum. No, I'm a big boy. I can figure this out myself. Blue, green, purple, brown. Oh, it's like the world's worst rainbow. I mean, where's the standard black bin? Let's see. Maybe it's to do with the first letter. Glass goes in green, paper goes in purple. What goes in brown? Bacon? Balls? Banjos? Ugh! Why is there so many bins? I mean, what do colourblind people do? This is daft. I'm overthinking this. I'll just put everything in the green one. What harm could it do? Maybe it could do a lot of harm. I mean, what would we Greta think? Maybe I have to consider the wider ramifications for the planet if I get this wrong. I've seen Blue Planet. If I put this empty bean can in the wrong bin, will I accidentally kill a sea turtle? Oh, don't be daft, Chris. You're definitely overthinking this. Wait. Wait. Think about what you're doing. The decision you make today will have a lasting effect on this planet you call home. If you choose poorly, you will be adding to the problems of pollution and animal endangerment. If you choose wisely, you will significantly increase the Earth's well-being. Did you know that recycling one aluminium can saves enough energy to listen to a full album on your iPod? And did you know that the plastic contains toxic chemicals, which can increase the chance of disease and affect reproduction? Think about the sea turtles, Chris. Think about how much... <coughs> Yeah. <laughs>